Leo, thank you for turning into perfectly imperfect tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading, love. Happy New Year. Yes, yes. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Oh, you got somebody stressed out too. Uh, please don't curse me in the comments though. Leo, you got your cross watchers stressed. I'm telling you. Heavily. All right. <laughs> You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay that no mind. Feel the energy. There's no gender or age here. Remember, roles can always be reversed. I thank you for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Truly, thank you for your love and support. We're going to pull from the Psychic Tarot Oracle. Leo energy, please. Leo energy. Oh, hello. <laughs> Leo, I don't know what you did um, to kind of like, what do you call it? Shake, shake the, you, you um, oh, I don't know how to say it. You shook, the, um, you shook yourself. Like you shook, you snapped out of it. That's what I want to say. God darn, I struggled with that. All right. You snapped out of it, period. I don't know if the clock struck 12 and you said, I'm good or whatever the case is, but I have here emotional loss and it's in reverse. So um, it's almost as if like you're taking it on the chin. You know what I mean? No love loss. Cool. It is what it is. Um, I think that right now you're living a life without regret, you know, which is cool. It's okay to have nostalgia and good memories. We have memories of love, bottom of the deck, but it shouldn't be with regret. You know what I'm saying? And I like that. I like it. Um, past life energy here with the six. Ooh, heavy past life energy. Um, I have two sixes here, by the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, with the lovers, Gemini energy foundation. Yeah. It, you know what? I have to say that, you know, I agree. Um, I agree. That was uh, some type of. Uh, serious connection here. Um, you may want to call it twin or uh, we could get twin or divine counterpart, you know, whatever it is. I think connections are divine. You know, um, what's meant to be will be. Um, people are meant to run in on, and sometimes through your life. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but I think that you had a connection that was um, intense. Um, hmm. And you've had it before and it just reminded you of, you know, greatness. But today, either, I just feel like you're fine. I feel like in or outside of a connection right now, you're fine um, in terms of love, okay? I think your partner is stressed out, period. I have to say that whether you're active in a relationship or you're not active in your past partner, pick one, Leo, you're good, but somebody is stressed out and they feel the loss of you, you know, the loss of, of the potential of what could have been. Yeah. Maybe a Libra with balance here. Yeah. I have to say that maybe a Libra. water is here too with this conflict and defeat five of cups energy um hmm. you know I, there's I, you there's some shoulda woulda couldas on this table leo i just don't think it's yours with this pisces energy with sacrifice here it's like the perspective the perspective of the situation has changed on both parts you know, I think that you feel you freed yourself from guilt and blame 
And I think that if you were connected to a Libra or somebody that you felt was your twin or your, the balance of you, I think that they are mentally stressed, but um, prospering in life. I'm not going to lie. Okay. But you, it's both of your perspective had changed on relationships. I will say that you forced each other to grow. Make no mistake about that part. Now, if this is an active relationship, um, the sky's the limit from here because you came back to, um, I want to say, how can I say you came back to, um, back to, back to the start. You know, kind of like you can start together, you can build together, you know, uh, be a power couple, things like that. Start making fortune turn in your favor. Yeah, positive movement forward. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it all. If any event that um, though you're going your separate ways, I think you're going, you know, with a clean slate. And that's important because you want to start clean. You know what I mean? That's very important. I'm going to put a spread down here with this new world tarot i like this deck i like the illustration some of the pictures don't match but you know me i go by what i feel Ooh. i want to say this if, if you and this person, how can I say this? If you shared multiple lives together, one was perfect. I'm going to say that. It was very short, though. That's the thing. It's almost as if you got a taste of, of something that you're trying to get back. And they feel it, too. Um, because at one point, at one time, in one life, everything was absolutely bliss but it was so short it was cut off short for whatever reason and so it just seems like every life after that you've been chasing this high and so have they so the connection is undeniable but for it for whatever reason it doesn't sustain it's like you're the perfect perfectly imperfect couple <laughs> how about that Center energy, please, for Leo. I didn't even think we were going to jump right into love, Leo. That's how we feeling this year. Center energy, please, for Leo. I'm hearing freedom. Is that what you're saying? You're like, no, I'm free. Got gotcha. you. Freedom. Center energy, please, for Leo. There we go. Mm. Eight of Pentacles. Work, 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 work. Working on you. Yeah, you're working on you. It's not all. It's not just about uh, work for you know money and security. You're working on you. You're working on elevation. You know what I mean. Um, you're working on stardom, things like that. Crown the energy. Hello. Ah, with a mother loving boom stick, if that's how you're going to do it. <laughs> oh, come on with that boom, boom stick, Leo. Yes. If you're new to my channel, that is the ace of mother loving wines, baby. Yes. And I get excited for this energy. I love it because it just opens all kinds of doors in your life, you know? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's productive and creative and fertile and passionate. It births life-changing events, and this is where you are right now. You're at a brand new beginning, a brand new beginning, a brand new cycle of life, and I know it's no world energy to confirm it, and I don't see a wheel of fortune to confirm it, but this is how I feel. This is how I feel that you have let go and you're starting anew. I said you're at the starting line of, of something, okay? What's undermining Leo? I stand by that. God darn, it feels good. What's undermining Leo? 
Oh, there's a bull here. Taurus. Mm. And it's an angry bull. Maybe somebody's stubborn. What's undermining Leo's energy? What's undermining Leo's energy? Thank you so much. Hmm. Four cups here. You know, water energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I try to call the signs, guys, if I remember. Don't get caught in that. Feel the energy, okay? I say it all the time. Anybody has the ability to embody any energy at any time. Never forget that. There's heavy Pisces, and I'm I'm smelling Taurus like a mutt, an angry bull. Um but the energy that's undermining you is dissatisfaction or I want to say it like that. It feels like an unknown offer. Like as if, you know, four cups is when you're, uh, you have something, somebody's offering you something, but you don't want it either because it's not good enough or you don't trust it, you know? And that's, it feels more like a distrust. That's how this feels. Like, I don't know what you put in that. I'm not eating that. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I want to say that if with this Ace of Wands here, the possibilities are endless, okay? I know that you are capable and willing to put work in. To counter this energy, investigate before you turn it down. You understand? You don't want to miss something. Because it's, but you just, what? I stand by that. Investigate. There's nothing wrong with investigating. See, this feels like a relationship, you know, that you're done with or that you're over, you freed yourself from. And they kind of latched on or they're trying to, or they think they are. Yeah, they're latched on. I ain't going to lie. It is what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. They don't want you to stay and they don't want you to go kind of thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Damn, instant choking me off. Um, Knight of Cups, past energy, yeah. This offer of love right here, you're like, uh, it's an apprehension on accepting somebody's offer. You don't trust it. And I don't blame you. You done been through heck last year. We ain't starting the new, the new year off like that. We're not doing that. Especially when you got to a place in your heart where you can honestly say, I did what I could. It take a long time to get there. I don't blame you. Where's uh, where's this going for Leo? Future energy, please. Where's this going? The world. There's the completion you was looking for. <laughs> and some balance with the Six of Pentacles. We're, I'm, okay, let me tell you what's over. Tit for tat. Little here, little there. Nope, not doing it. Sun at the bottom of the deck. There you go. Yeah, that part is over. Okay. A title of a relationship, you're no, you're not binding yourself to. I'm gonna say it like that. So if you call your person, uh, your boo, your wife, your twin, your whatever, it's no longer good enough to sustain. Okay. Action is required. And whoever's making this offer, when they came to you, you said that's not good enough. All right? Now, I'm going to say it like this. Damn, Leo, your chest is out and everything. Ooh, you feeling good. Um, I ain't mad at you. I ain't going to lie. I'm not mad at you. I just don't want you to miss something here. I'm, I'm, I think I want to clarify this. 
and I've been trying to shorten my videos and get out of the uh, clarification. Let me see what's behind here. Maybe we'll get some more. Um, with, with this sun under the deck, you're just really feeling life. You're feeling yourself. You're feeling empowered um, and strengthened, enlightened. Um, you found an inner peace and an inner joy, and you like it, and I like it for you. I ain't going to lie. Uh, behind here is a seven of cups. Now, so we're talking about there's a lot on your plate. You have a lot of plans for the future. Um, you have a lot going on right now. Um, that includes work, home, everything. Okay. So to assist you with that, breathe your way through it. Okay. Just drip, don't over, don't overdo it. Um, don't overwhelm yourself. And how can I say this? You know how like you get up extra early because you have a lot to do. And then because you're so tired, because you got up so early, you're not productive. Does that make sense? Like, don't overdo it, you know? Get some good sleep, drink plenty of water, um, so that when you are, when you're in your waking hours, that you are productive. You don't want to be stuck. Hangman energy here with the Pisces. Because then you're just looking at the situation or things that you have to do and you're not actually doing them. Like, you'll sit and look at the laundry knowing, oh, I've got to put this load in. You know what I'm saying? This energy like that. Okay, so be mindful of that. Now, a surprise here from this Queen of Pentacles. I think this Queen of Pentacles represents your person, to be honest. Um, it could be an earth sign. It doesn't, well, that could be that Taurus, but I'm smelling water. It's just a lot of water here. There is an angry Taurus energy. They may have Taurus in their chart, or they just may be stubborn, very, very stubborn. A little bit of Sag, too. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe in the rising. <sighs> yeah. Got some spunk. But this Queen of Pentacles here, it's like a sudden change with the tower, okay? A sudden change, a sudden revelation um, on both of your parts. You're gonna see them. They're gonna see you. The, the thing, of the difference is, is that you're gonna see where they fall short, and they're going to see where you're strong. You know what I mean, Leo? Emperor energy here, Aries, Taurian, again, Taurus, okay? I'm telling you, you, it might be a Taurus. Or maybe you have Taurus in your chart. Because this bull is coming through, like, really powerful. Uh, yeah, angry bull kind of energy. Like, I just want to mow through this thing. You know what I mean? So maybe you're feeling that. All right. But if the emperor is the CEO, the COO, the CFO and, and all of that stuff, you know, emperor energy is the boss. Uh, he's the embodiment of all four kings. Um, therefore, he has things in control. All right. Now, uh, with this ace of cups, I told you uh, this could be uh, either a reconciliation or replenishing of a relationship, just a relationship that kind of has. It's a blessing to have really a, a point in your relationship where you can both be on the same page with let's start over, you know, and this is that starting point I was talking about earlier for some of you. For others of you, you're renewing yourself, your world, you're being blessed with a renewal of self, you're being poured into, you know, from the most high, um, that's going to assist you with emotional balance. It's going to remind you of emotional support from the most high. Um, Six of Cups energy also talks about, again, past life connections. I have to say that. Um, but it's still a forward moving energy. It's almost like, you know, it's a reminder. Hey, you know what? Love is still love and life is still life. And let's just keep this thing going. All right. There's that Libra, Queen of Swords. I, I saw the Libra here with Justice. But here's the Queen of Swords, same thing. But it's also Aquarius and Gemini energy, make no mistake about it. But more so uh, importantly to me, the, the Queen of Swords is a teaching energy. And like I said, for those of you that are in separation and going in a different direction from a relationship, you've learned a lot and it was a heck of a lesson. And so did your partner, okay? So did your partner, you both taught each other, believe it or not. Okay. And you taught each other about the importance of give and take six of pentacles here. I'm sorry, uh, six of wands here, um, about, um, recognition, you know, um, appreciation, things like that. 
everything, everything is important. It's not always about just this and just that and just this. Every, every detail is very important. And um, respect is here. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, respect is here, big time. Um, okay, Leo, I have to say, because this smells nasty. Um, maybe you at one point didn't respect your partner or they didn't respect you, but now the tables have turned something. There's a change in the wind. Two of wands here because it changed direction. If this is just so perfectly imperfect. I, I swear it, you know, this is, if one of y'all, if both of y'all really would have sat down and fought this thing out, like just, you know, blow for blow, it could have been resolved. And it would have been phenomenal. Some of you are really starting out and you're going to be phenomenal. But man, this thing could have been power couple, generational wealth and, and happiness and the example of the light of the most high, you know, the blessings of the most high, like you, that, that's what you were supposed to be the example, but you, you can't be in the ring by yourself. I, I, I agree with that. I agree. King of cups here. You, it, it wasn't a love problem. Too many games with this magician and there's the lovers. It's still divine. You know, I have to say, Leo, for those of you that are walking away, you're walking away a whole person, okay, with a new leap on life, a new perspective in love, um, optimism for the future, and you're getting on your divine path. Leo, this is so friggin' beautiful. Don't waste time. If you see an opportunity, take it. Don't let the uh, past burden you, you know? Don't let the past burden you. Um, people, places, and things... Be mindful. Um, see this. Uh, this five of swords here. It just people, places, and things. It doesn't. I don't feel like this is tied to you. I feel like you run into this maybe in public. You know, you have a moment where it seemed like every like somebody's arguing or something like that. Somebody's showing off. Just you know, keep your distance. Stay in your truth. Stay in your strength. Stay in positivity, you know? Gosh. It's a beautiful Empress energy. Um, hmm. Libratorian, again, Empress energy. I just have to say that. Uh, but so fertile. So for You know, you guys are going to blossom separately. I mean, you could be powerful together and you're going to blossom. Se like, it's just phenomenal. This is a beautiful read. It's beautiful energy. I don't know who this is, but you both are blossoming. You both have learned. You like it, that's the beauty of it. Y you know what I'm saying? You're walking away still okay. And if you're staying together, you're starting out beautifully. Empress to the full here. You know, this Empress is really uh, taking a chance in life, trying new things. <clears throat> There's still a little damage, nine of wands here. Yeah, they, 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 they still a little damage. You're in their head. I ain't gonna lie. Ace of Pentacles, but they can really get a blessing or you are a, a financial or, you know, a tangible blessing, make a large purchase, something like that. All right, Leo, that's enough. I don't need to clarify this. I think that was plain. I think we have enough to know that if you're resonating with this message right now, you are doing excellent work on yourself, um, excellent work um, in the world, you know, as far as your craft. Um, I think that you will prosper. I think you have grown and matured. I think that if you're having a moment of doubt, fear, um, or lack, 
pull down from your inspiration. The Ace of Wands is here. That energy crowns you, my love. Pull that right into your personal space and use it, utilize it. You know, it's a gift to you. It's a gift to you so that you can go ahead and complete whatever cycle you're trying to complete. If you plan on traveling, go ahead, uh, but please do so safely. All right, safely. Um, but the world energy represents um, new beginnings. Okay, new beginnings that uh, and with with that are limitless, limitless new beginnings, especially with that six of pentacles there. You know, you may be taking on a new business venture, a new business partner. Um, do it. Go for it. All right. All right. I hope this helps. If any event, none of it resonates for you. It's OK. Check out your moon or rising signs. Leo, don't take this with you if it's not yours, my love. Leave it here for another Leo, okay? Listen, thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're notified of future readings. And always remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.